what is going on YouTube so coming back today with a little bit of news uh, concerning the Lakers um, you know I do, I've done a little bit of news about the Lakers recently not as much or I guess a little bit more than I plan to but anyway um, the first big free agent signing in a little while in the NBA um, not maybe skill wise but just brand name wise uh, from just the brand name of the player and the team um, the first part is the Lakers are looking to part ways with Nick Young, which was um, pretty obvious news to, throughout the entire offseason. It seemed like they were waiting to do that for a while. And then um, it, it seems like it's getting closer and closer to it actually happening. Uh, I mean, their face of the franchise moving forward looks like will be D'Angelo Russell. I mean, Brandon Ingram to some degree also. But, um, you know, and it seems like... Uh, th th them two just aren't going to work well together in a locker room, which, I mean, is pretty obvious. But, anyway, um, the the main part of this video, Yi Jin Lan, um, I believe that's how you say it, uh, is has signed with the Lakers two years, $8 million, uh, making his return to the NBA. Um, I, I think it's Guangdong Southern Tigers are the team he's been with since 2012 after he left or left the NBA. Um, originally drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks back in 2007, spent about four or five years in the NBA uh, between the Nets, Wizards, Bucks, and Mavericks. Um, ended up in China for a little bit of time there as well throughout the 2007-2012 span. He was actually in the NBA. I believe the last team he was with in America was the Texas Legends. Anyway. Um, Add a little bit of depth to the center spot for the Lakers. Uh, you know, it, I think uh, Zhou Chi, uh, his getting drafted, um, might have helped Yinlan uh, with his transition back to the NBA a little bit. The Olympics probably had a big thing to do with it. He had been discussing his NBA return really since, I think, a little bit before the Olympics. Um, and, you know, like I said, worst comes to worst. He just adds depth at the center spot for a Lakers team that Honestly, probably won't compete for a playoff spot this year, but we'll see. You never know. Um, they do have a lot of young talent. At this point, I think he is 28 years old. Um, still got plenty of time left in the NBA uh, if he wants to do that. Set, he, he's listed seven foot two six or two sixty now. Um, that seems about right. I believe he was a God. I can't remember how much he was when he was drafted. That was so long ago. Um, but anyway. Um, I think for Chinese basketball fans and for Laker fans, a lot of times Chinese basketball fans are Laker fans. It's just kind of the way it goes overseas. Um, I think that's big news. I think it's really big news. Um, you know, adding a guy that is one of the most high-profile uh, Chinese centers of all time, um, you know, to one of the most high-profile franchises of all time, if not the most high-profile high and most big market team, then, you know, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good news for both sides. Anyway. Like I said, I just wanted to break that news today just in case any of y'all had not heard it. Um, I'm just kind of give my reaction to it. But anyway, that's pretty much it. See ya.